Hello friends! Today I'm going to review the Salem Cosmetics In My Dreams palette which is a collaboration with the creator Sassifier Fairies <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that over on Instagram and the Grunge Life palette The reason that I'm doing a review of both of those palettes is because I have kind of been trying out them around the same time So if you are new on this channel you probably don't know this but I actually have had my own collab palette with the brand that is called Forest Heart looks like this and the inside looks like this and it's the most grungy dream in my opinion therefore it's quite hard for me to be totally unbiased in this review but I will still try my best to be as transparent and honest in my review anyway as per usual I will show you the looks I've been creating with the palettes the swatches and I will also show you how I created this look I have some kind of problem with doing liner in front of the camera so I will try to explain how I created this liner look instead and yeah I hope that you will enjoy this I'm applying the mesmerizing pink shade to my inner parts of the lids. And then I go in with a super stunning grungy green on the inner part of the other eye. And blend, blend, blend. Oh, I'm going in with the stunning purple shade in my outer corners and I'm blending, blending, blending. Look at this color combo, I'm totally in love with this. Next I'm going in with the darker green in the other outer corner and blend, blend, blend. I'm really digging those stunning color combos I came up with. And by the way, I'm using both the Grunge Life palette and the In My Dreams palette here. And as you can see, they complement each other so, so well. I'm adding the bubblegum pink to blend out the edges and on the other eye I'm adding the olive green shade. And blending. And blending and blending and blending and now I'm finally doing something else I'm adding the darker shades again to deepen up the looks woohoo it looks so great so far what do you think some more blending and more blending and blending and I'm really digging this look as you can see I'm going in with the darker shade in the inner part of my lid and do like a half cut crease I would say and just forming a shape and then I'm kind of blending towards the inner part of the inner corner it's a little bit hard to describe but I think that you can tell what I'm doing now I'm going in with the stunning shimmer and kind of applying it lightly to the lid with circular motions and just tapping it on and blending it on to give a more topperish shade like and you see that I do the same thing on the other eye too and it looks so stunning so far I'm really really loving this going in with another shade on the low lash line blending The same thing on the other eye. Now I'm going in with some inner corner shades. And here I can't decide what to put in my inner corners for the green eye. I finally decided on putting the olive green in the inner corner. And now I'm deepening up the lower lash line 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 <laughs> i'm not sure what this is called is it lower lash line now i'm going in with the shimmers in the inner corners and blending and now i'm dipping up the shades again you know me and the same thing on the other eye now i'm going in with the ladybug glow lip oil i will see if i can find the shade name soon and yeah i'm applying it it looks really gorgeous Alright, so now I will try my best to explain how I created the liner work on this look. So first I created this rounded shape here in the outer corner. After that I took a water activated liner and applied it straight up like a heart almost. And after that I did three dots. Now it's time for some swatches and after that I will show you the looks I have been creating with the palettes. 
I hope that you will enjoy. So first I'm going to talk about the Grungy Life palette. It's such a beautiful palette. It's really grungy and gorgeous. But we need to take a minute to just admire the beautiful artwork first. It's such a beautiful lady on the packaging and I honestly wish that it was me, but it's not. <laughs> anyway, uh, when we look at the inside it has a bunch of beautiful mattes. They are very dark and mysterious looking and we have also some really nice shimmers. The formula in the Grunge Life palette and the In My Dreams palette are slightly less pigmented than in the Forest Heart palette, but I don't mind that. I still like the formula. It's really nice and easy to work with. So here is the transparency around the Grunge Life palette. When I'm looking at it, I feel really inspired. I love to look at it. It's so beautiful. But as soon as I tried to start creating looks with it, I realized that hmm, I actually have some struggles with creating looks with this palette and this isn't because I don't like the color story it's just because um, I kind of felt like I needed something brighter I noticed that when I used the grunge life and in my dreams palette together today I had no issues whatsoever because the in my dreams palette has some light shades which I really like by the way and um, yeah I felt super inspired by using those palettes together and I think this is definitely a me problem because I like to play with contrast and I felt like the grunge life on its own is a little bit too dark for my personal liking and this isn't uh, anything against the palette itself it's really good formula is excellent and I really love it but if you are someone who really gravitates towards super dark looks I think that you would love this palette on its own so this is more like a personal preference I would say and when I'm saying that it's dark, it's because the tones are quite dark, they are quite similar in the tones and nuances, which makes it a little bit hard to create that contrast that I'm always looking for when I'm creating looks. But as I said, it's an excellent smoky palette and if you are into those grungy shades, you will love this. And when it comes to shimmers, they perform so good, they are really creamy and nice to the lids. Two of the shades can be used as topper shades too, or you can also apply them a little bit more opaque if you want to. Another thing that I really love is the really intense red shimmer shade. It's really a true red, which is hard to find, and I really like that one too. I'm sure that you are wondering if I'm still going to recommend this palette, and of course I will. I still love the formula, I love the palette in itself, and especially when I'm combining it with other shades, for example, some pastel cine shades or something like that. It's really good quality, I have nothing bad to say about it, and it's just a color story problem for me, as I mentioned earlier. And now I'm going to talk about the collab palette with Sassy Fiery. 
or Shaz as we call her. She's a super talented creator on Instagram and please make sure to check her out if you haven't already. First of all, the art on the packaging is absolutely breathtaking. I love it so much. It's really stunning. I really have to applaud Shaz for creating such a stunning color story with just nine shades because I know how hard it is to create a cohesive and beautiful color story with that small amount of shades. So kudos to her. And the cold store is itself, it contains what I was talking about that I was missing in the grungy life palette. It has some lighter shades, it has those deepening dark shades and it also has a little bit more mid-tone shades. For example, the red shades that I would call is a mid-tone shade, at least on my skin tone. And we also have a lighter shimmer and we have a darker shimmer and we have a topper shimmer that, that also can be used as an um, opaque shade too. It's such a beautiful palette and I'm so happy for Shaz that she had the opportunity to create this gorgeous palette. It's super inspiring to me and I can't wait to create more looks with it. What I really love about this color store is the special pops of colors, for example the light pearl winkle shade and the bubblegum pink together with the reds, the purples and the dark blue. And it also has super stunning shimmers as well, it's just a very beautiful palette. And the shade Sweet Dreams, it's just as the name suggests, a sweet dream, it's so gorgeous. It's, it's probably my favorite shade in the whole palette. And I will obviously recommend this palette too because it's so beautiful and I'm so proud of Chaz for creating such a stunning palette. It makes me really happy that she was able to create something so different and unique and it's also her first collab so good job! <laughs> As I already touched on earlier in this video, I really love to combine the grungy life palette with the In My Dreams palette because the cold stores are quite different but they still go so well together and I feel like... So it's a really good palette to have in your collection if you are like me and always looking for more deepening shades um, because... Yeah, it's great quality. I can't stress that enough. And this was everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And please let me know if you own any of those palettes, if you like them, if you are planning to buy them or why you don't own them. <laughs> and please consider to subscribe if you are into indie makeup, colorful makeup or just want to see my weird personality. Love you all, bye bye. For you who haven't been following me for a while, <laughs> be following we who haven't oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry, I'm getting glitter in my When I'm mix bubble gum pink, I would pray. It's probably always if so if.